Okay, first of all, you, you asked the difference between, between me and my opponent. First of all, we're both Democrats, and 90% of the time we're in agreement on things, uh, and I think that's fair to say. But we have disagreed on some key issues. We disagreed on redevelopment. Redevelopment, uh, I thought, was critical for Oakland. Uh, we needed to develop senior and low and moderate income housing. I voted to keep that redevelopment money. My opponent voted to eliminate those funds from coming in. We're in a housing crisis now, and now uh, everyone is putting forth uh, either rent control or housing money, and I think that's because my colleagues in, in Sacramento uh, abandoned their responsibility to, to redevelop. 500 low-income families that weren't homeowners became homeowners because of redevelopment. There were 8,000 jobs, and there was a tax base that was growing because of redevelopment that both local government and the state government benefited from. Uh, and then we also disagreed on the Healthy Families Program. That program serves 740,000 poor kids. I said to the legislature, it's shameful for them to end that program. So I fought for that program. My opponent voted to eliminate that program. Uh, on the question of, of uh, education, during the middle of the recession, when we were fighting budget issues, uh, we, we, we tried to uh, make sure that uh, we balanced our budget. But I didn't want them, I don't want them to balance the budget on the backs of our schools or our kids. And so they wanted to suspend the guarantees for schools that was protected by Proposition 98. They needed two-thirds of a vote to do that. I wouldn't do it. Uh, my opponent did do it. And so they were able to go into the budget and raid the school budget as a result of that. I wanted to make it difficult on them to take money from our schools. Schools are either a priority or, 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 or they're not. Uh, finally, uh, I think that uh, my difference is that uh, I do not compromise on these questions that I think that are important to our community. I have represented you that way. I've even lost my chairmanship because I wouldn't go along with them trying to uh, you know, take money from the disabled, the poor, and seniors. I would do that again uh, if you elect me to California Senate. Thank you so much. Well, it's perfectly appropriate to talk about what we've said no to, but it's also very important to talk about what did we actually deliver for you. And redevelopment, I would say, was unfortunately a false choice. Because redevelopment, while some communities were using it for a very important purpose, it was property tax money that would otherwise go to our schools. OUSD needs that funding. And it, what redevelopment was doing, every dollar that was taken for that purpose was taken away from our schools. So I did not want that. To me, that was a false choice. So I'm going to fight for other sources of funds to give us the affordable housing, not funds that are taken away from our schools. So one of the things I did was close down corporate tax loopholes. Corporations in California don't pay their fair share. They don't pay their fair share anywhere in America. So the internet retailers that were telling you that you were getting a discount by not collecting sales tax, that was denying the state of California a billion dollars a year. I fought them, and I got that bill through, and now all the internet retailers have to collect the sales tax. California is receiving a billion more a year now. That billion dollars is what we can use and are using for the child care, the preschool, the K-12 uh, schools, and our social services, and we reinstated health families. Healthy Families was cut in that horrible recession, one year, 2009, when we lost $40 billion, we had a $40 billion deficit. As soon, and I fought for the revenue to come back, and as soon as we had that revenue, we restored Healthy Families. So it exists now. And we also did those expansions of child care, preschool, and other health care programs, and expansions of the support for our formerly incarcerated. Things like now. I carried the bill where if you're in either a county jail or a state prison, 30 days before your release, if you're eligible for Medi-Cal, now they have to enroll you in Medi-Cal so that you're already in Medi-Cal when you come out. It's just not something you have to worry about. And then you can go and get whatever medical health you know, healthcare needs you or, or if you need addiction treatment, whatever it is, you've got your Medi-Cal. So those are the kinds of things that I fought for. I would be honored to have your support, and I would be honored to serve you as your senator in the Senate District.